This is Eric with Techno RV, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the TST 510 tire pressure monitoring system. The TST 510 version comes with a five year battery, and today we're going to install one sensor just to show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the monitor for the TST 510 system. In order to turn your monitor on, you want to press and hold the button with the minus symbol above it for about six seconds. This turns your unit on. You'll see the outline of your rig, battery indicator in the lower right hand corner. And in order to install one of your sensors, you're going to press and hold the set button until you hear a beep. What you'll see is that an unprogrammed position has all F's across the screen. We're going to manually enter the code on the back of this sensor and the code is 5AE0. So as you can see, that's at F, so we'll go ahead and press the positive button here, and we'll take that to a 5. To move to the next position, we'll push mode. It was A. E, or we'll go to the next position by pushing mode. We'll go to E, and then the next position is going to be 0, so it's 5AE0, we've got it entered in there, so this particular sensor is now entered into this position right here. In order to complete the installation, you're just going to press and hold the set button. Now, all that's left to do is to set the levels that you would like to be notified if your tire pressure goes above or below a certain PSI. Now that we've entered the code from the sensor into the monitor, the only thing left to do is to set the PSI level at which you want to be notified if there is an issue either above or below the set point. In order to do that, you're just going to press and hold the mode button until you hear a beep. When you hear the beep, all tires will show up and you'll see the PSI blinking. Hit the mode button again and you'll see that it's going to be set on Celsius. In order to set it to Fahrenheit, you just press the plus button and you want to press the mode button again and this is going to take you to your front axle to set the high side uh, on the PSI for that axle. So right now it's set at 151 PSI and this is just for demonstration purposes but uh, if your temperature or if your PSI was to rise to 151 on this particular tire you would get a, a uh, alarm. But you can uh, decrease or increase this with the plus and minus buttons. Once you're done with the high side you press the mode button again and now you're going to be setting the low side, so if the PSI drops to this point, then you'll be given an alarm. And again, you can, you can move that up or down with the plus or minus buttons there. And then if you hit the mode button again, it's just going to move you to the next axle to do that all over again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just scroll through the axles until I get to the temperature setting because you can set your own temperature setting with this unit. Now the manufacturer setting comes at 158 degrees and it's it's recommended by the manufacturer that you just leave it there but if for some reason you would like to raise or decrease that then you can do that again with the plus or minus buttons here. Once you've done that then uh, that particular uh, axle there and setting for the sensors is completed and you just need to press the set button 
and that'll take you back out to drive mode and there's the sensor there's the tire in which this sensor was entered into and uh, the PSI settings are there too the only thing left to do now is we just need to go put the sensor on the on the tire and uh, so let's go do that the 510 sensor has an anti-theft device on the bottom to keep somebody from just coming up and taking that off of your valve stem so it comes with this tool here you just basically place the tool around the sensor screw it onto the tire get it nice and snug not too tight but you definitely want it on there and it's already picked up this sensor here and now you can see that if somebody comes and tries to unscrew that, it'll just spin. So, real nice uh, anti-theft device there. So, that's entered into the system, and that is how you install a sensor for the TST 510 tire pressure monitoring system.